Hello and welcome everybody. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to run your Android applications on your PC. So, you need to download the BlueStacks software from this URL. So, I'll download the BlueStacks software. So here you can see that you can use all the mobile applications on the PC of your Android. So, it has the download options for Mac as well as Windows 8. I'll show you how to install it on Windows 7 XP. You just download it and run the exe file. So I'll run the exe file. So here it is. So just click continue, click install. So your BlueStacks will start installing. Once the installation is finished, the application will start. So the installation is finished and the application is loading. Once the application is loaded, we need to configure the email addresses of Google for your Android. So let's wait for that. So it's finished now. So here you can see all the applications. So here you can see there is no application installed. So let's wait first it will configure all the things. So it's finished. Here you can see there are no applications. So first you need to sync. You need to if you want your mobile to sync, you can sync from here. So here you need to configure your Google email. I'll sign in using my account. So I'll type the email ID. Right. Next, I'll sign in. So it is finished. Now you again do the second step. Continue, click proceed. Type in the email address again. Sign in. So that finishes your configuration part now once it is finished you can add your applications so it next done hit finish so let's go so here you can go to your android play store so here there are no applications installed so we'll search some applications we'll i'll find try to install some applications so for example i install whatsapp so it will search here you can see it is your whatsapp messenger click install it will search for the app stores so i will download it from your google play store so i will accept just install this application once the installation is finished you can use that application Here it is downloaded. So here, your WhatsApp is here. You need to configure the WhatsApp. Click on Agree. Type in your mobile number. So just type in your mobile number here. So after you have entered your mobile number, it will send you a message and you need to verify that message. So you will get that message through an SMS. So wait for that message after that progress bar is complete, you need to enter your verification code. So by the time the verification is complete, you can add your contacts here. So you just you need to just the same way as you do in your Android phone, you need to add a new contact. Type in any name XYZ, your friend's name. Type in the mobile number. Just 
add the mobile number and hit done so your contact is saved you can add multiple contacts so we'll see if it is finished or not from here you can also manage your account details so here you can here you can change your name you can do multiple things you can see the settings from see the android settings your sound settings So we'll check if the WhatsApp is configuration is finished. It is still working. We'll wait for some time. So here you, you need to verify the code. Enter the code. Code. So here your name address is verified. So you can go and start using the WhatsApp now. So here you can see your Facebook is installed, your Twitter is installed. You can use many apps, you can use your WhatsApp. And it next you can add your photos. It is initializing. So your initialization is finished, hit continue. You can see that your it is synced with my previous mobile number. So you can see your friend's contact details here. So that's it. You can use multiple application. You can go and search the application, whichever application you want to install. You can install it directly and use it on your PC. So I hope this has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing.